Hi everyone, welcome to Lola's Frugal Life. This is episode number 204 and this is my weekly meal plan. So please stick around for a few quick words from our sponsor and we'll get right into the show. Okay everyone, welcome back to my weekly meal plan. If you're new, each week I share with you what is on my meal plan for the upcoming week for my family that, that I'm going to be making for my family. The reason I do this as part of a frugal podcast is because I think that meal planning is really important for saving money, wasting less food. It makes life easier in knowing what you're going to make for dinner and not having to always try and figure it out at the last minute. So I do meal planning. I, I, I really um, make sure I stick to it as much as possible. So this um, episode is just kind of like to give you some ideas if you're um, having trouble coming up with what you want to make. Maybe there's a thing or two that I might mention that you might want to add to your meal plan for the week, or maybe it'll just give you some motivation to put your meal plan together. This meal plan is just dinners, and um, I do a meal rotation, so there's not like a whole ton of variety over the course of the weeks. Like it rotates over the course of the weeks, but it's not like always all new recipes and things like that. I add in something new once in a while, but we kind of eat the same types of things because um, it just makes it easier right now in a busy time of life, which I am currently in. So I've found that that's worked well for us. Um, also, the blog version of this meal plan with links to any of the recipes can be found at lolasfrugallife.com, and I will also mention um, where the recipes can be found during this episode um, for anything that has like a website that you can go to. Okay, so before we get into this week's meal plan, I just want to share that for the month of June 2021, I am going to run a $5 Amazon gift card giveaway. I know that's not a huge amount of money, but it's still five bucks. It's like a nice coupon for something that you might want to get. Um, And there's two ways to enter. So the first way is to leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to podcasts and send me a screenshot of the review through email. And the second way is to screenshot the show and um, tag me on social media. Uh, You can tag me at Lola's Frugal Life on Instagram and Facebook, and then email me um, with a screenshot of the review, or just, you could, with that one, if you're sharing on social media and you tag me, you could just email me and tell me that you tagged me, I'll be able to see it. Um, But it's really important that no matter which way you do, that you email me, because if you win, um, I will need to be able to email you back the code for the digital gift card. My email is lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. So the winner will be randomly chosen from all entries received during the first week of July. And if you win, I will be contacting you via that email that you send. So this week's meal plan starts on Saturday, um, June 5th. So for Saturday, I am making um, oven fried breaded pork chops. And that is from skinnytaste.com. Um, I like to make these with the really thin boneless pork chops. Aldi actually makes like really super, super thin cut pork chops. But whatever ones you have or however you like them, of course, is fine. Um, this recipe, you you bread the pork chops with um, egg and then a combination of panko breadcrumbs and corn and like crushed corn flakes. So it gives it like a really crispy um, crust, even being baked in the oven. And we really like how they come out. It's one of my favorite baked um pork chop recipes. And then on the side with that, I'm going to be making Hellman's um, original potato salad, which is from food.com. And it's just like your typical traditional potato salad with um, mayo and some vinegar and sugar, salt and pepper, that type of thing. And then I'm also going to make on the side with that air fryer asparagus fries. And that is from allrecipes.com. These are where you take asparagus spears and you kind of... um, coat them with breadcrumbs and honey. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'll even go through and make the fries. Sometimes if I'm in a rush, um, I won't even make the the full recipe with something like this. I might just have this as a placeholder and just throw the asparagus in the air fryer with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. So we'll see. But this is a good recipe. I've made it before. So I, I do intend to make it, but it's just Sharing that in case you have a busy night and you are going to do the asparagus, it does come out good just on its own too without going through the whole breading um, process. So um, that's for Saturday. For Sunday, I'm going to be doing French dip sandwiches in the um, crock pot. Now this one I don't have a recipe link for, um, but I can just tell you really quickly how to make this. It's so easy and the sandwiches come out really good. All you do is literally put like a three to four pound, I think usually around three pound 
um, chuck roast in your crock pot. Take a packet of onion soup mix, sprinkle it over the top. Take a pack of au jus gravy mix, if I'm saying that properly, sprinkle that over the top. And then um, pour one can of beef broth over it and let it cook all day on low seven to nine hours or on high four to six hours. It comes out so good. We make sandwiches with it. I'll take um, like Swiss cheese and put like a slice of Swiss cheese on the bun before adding the meat on top. And it's it's really, really good. It's one of my favorite things. And I've been trying to do more of those crock pot type meals on a Sunday um, just to make it easier. Um, but I also am making a side dish with that because my one daughter that doesn't eat meat will not eat that. So I'm going to be making Pennsylvania Dutch corn pie, which is from allrecipes.com. Just to note, this recipe does call for um, hard-boiled eggs in the corn pie. I've never actually done that, um, and I'm not saying, saying it might not be good. It probably is, but I've never made it that way. I just do the corn um, because it's really pretty quick and easy to make. It's like a, a pie, like it's like a pot pie type of thing, but it's basically just like potatoes, um, whole kernel corn, and cream style corn and you just make, you just kind of put that in the dish and you put the pie crust over it. And uh, it comes out really good as a side dish. So I'm gonna be doing that also. So then for Monday, Monday's our hamburger night. Every other Monday we do hamburgers. Um, I don't have a recipe for the hamburgers. I just take some ground beef, make it into patties and cook them up. Sometimes I'll season it with um, the McCormick hamburger seasoning. Um, a lot of times I make them in the pan during the winter. And then now that it's gonna be warmer out, I'll be making them on the grill more often. Um, I'm also going to be doing um, homemade black bean veggie burgers and um, that's going to be um, for my daughter who doesn't eat meat again also. So I, I also am going to be making on the side just a can of pork and beans and then I'm going to do um, uh, the air fryer, not air fryer, um, yeah air fryer roasted potatoes. Um, so I'm just going to do like I'm just basically going to take some potatoes and like cut them up either in like french fry shapes or sometimes I'll just do like slices, toss them with a little bit of olive oil and throw them in the air fryer. Um, usually in the winter I like to do potato wedges in the oven, but um, it's just kind of easier in the summer and you don't have to heat up the, uh, the house uh, by doing them in the air fryer. So we'll do that as a side. Then for Tuesday, I'm going to be making shrimp I'm sorry, sheet pan shrimp fajitas. And this is from allrecipes.com. This is a new recipe for me. Um, I haven't made this before, but it's a very basic um, sheet pan fajita recipe. It's pretty much just um, taking the shrimp, raw shrimp, um, seasoning it with a package of fajita seasoning, um, tossing it with some olive oil, um, peppers, onions, all that kind of stuff, baking it in the oven, and then serving it with uh, flour tortillas. So I'm gonna be doing that for Tuesday, and if it comes out good, I'm going to um, add that into my meal rotation for um, for doing the uh, the Mexican theme that I usually do on Tuesdays. Now, we wouldn't normally do shrimp two nights in a row, but I'm going to be doing shrimp two nights in a row because when I was making my meal plan, the sh the sheet pan shrimp fajitas were a last minute add. Um, I saw them. someone that I follow on Instagram that um, I really like was show, sharing some um, sheet pan dishes, and that was one of them that she had, and I decided to stick it in my meal plan, not thinking that I also had shrimp on the meal plan for Wednesday, but that's fine. My husband really likes shrimp, so we're going to have shrimp two nights in a row um, this week. So Wednesday, I'm going to be making... Uh, bacon wrapped barbecue shrimp. That's from allrecipes.com. It's a really quick, simple shrimp dish, um, which how I make it is I don't actually wrap the bacon around the shrimp. I just cut up the bacon in like little pieces and lay it over the shrimp and then bake it that way. And I did that once because the shrimp that I had were too little, I think. I think one time I bought shrimp that were like super small because they didn't have the ones that I normally get and it was going to be a real pain to wrap them all. So I wound up just cutting up the bacon and kind of laying it over the pan with the shrimp and it came out really good. So um, that's, uh, that's how I always do it now. And then on the side with that, I'm going to do fried rice in the Instant Pot, which is from mydaintysoulcurry.com. 
So then Thursday we're going to be doing breakfast for dinner. Um, we do this every like two to three weeks on a Thursday. We either do that or we do soup and grilled cheese because I go grocery shopping on Thursday night. So I try and keep it really easy. I'm just going to be making turkey bacon in the oven, which is from brended.com. Uh, it just basically tells you how to cook turkey bacon or regular bacon um, in the oven. I find it much easier to do it that way. Then I'm just going to make some quick scrambled eggs. And I'm also going to be making slow cooker cheesy bacon ranch potatoes, which is from damndelicious.net. And what I like about this is I can put the potatoes and everything in the crock pot in the morning. And then everything's pretty much done. Um, for dinner time, all I got to do is pop the bacon in the oven and make the scrambled eggs and dinner's done. So that's Thursday. For Friday, I'm going to do oven baked chicken, um, which is... One of my favorite ways to make chicken in the oven, like bone in chicken, um, the recipe is at bettycrocker.com. And um, I usually, a lot of times, just call this bisquick chicken because pretty much all you do is you just take the pieces of chicken, you dip them in, um, like you coat them in bisquick, and then you bake them in the oven in a pan that has like melted butter in it. And it just comes out so crispy. I just really like making it this way. I usually do um, chicken thighs, like with the skin on, like bone in, um, skin on chicken thighs, and it comes out really good that way. Um, I've also done it with chicken legs um, a lot of times too. The recipe actually calls for a whole cut up chicken, just to note, I don't do it that way. I usually do either drumsticks or um, the chicken thighs. So that is that, and then I'm also going to make on the side, um, carrot fries in the air fryer. That can be found at foodnetwork.com. And um, it's pretty much just taking um, carrots and cutting up into like little fry size portions, strips, and then you cook them in the air fryer. Um, of course, you could roast them too if you don't have an air fryer. And then I'm also going to be making five ingredient instant pot mac and cheese, which is from foodnetwork.com. That's a really super, super quick, easy way to make mac and cheese in the instant pot. Um, you literally just take four cups of water, four cups of pasta, put it on for four minutes, and then you add um, evaporated milk and shredded cheese when it's done. So um, that's a, one of my go-to quick, easy side dishes. So that's it for this week's meal plan. Um, don't forget about entering the giveaway if you're interested in that. Um, you can also email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Lola's Frugal Life. I do have all these podcasts posted to a YouTube channel also, um, which is Lola's Frugal Life, of course. And then, um, like I said, these meal plans are on the um, on my website, which is lolasfrugallife.com. And I also have blog posts there for the other um, topic episodes that I do on Mondays. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe. And I would love if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram or Facebook. Um, also, if you can take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, that'd be really helpful to me. Um, I, I understand that it's really important um, for those ratings and reviews to help um, the show come up in more search results when people are looking for this type of episodes um, or episode. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening. That's all I have for today. And I hope you have a really awesome day.